It's clear the U.S. wants to narrow its trade deficit, but how do you decide what is a bad deficit? Well, I think most economists will tell you that the trade deficit or the trade balances are the function of broad micro macroeconomic factors like uh, savings and investment rates, differential growth rates. It's not really the function of trade policy. And in fact, the recent tax cuts here in the United States are likely to increase the trade deficit, uh, as will uh, high levels of growth if the Trump administration is successful in achieving their growth target. So it, it's not a great metric for economic policy because it's really affected by broader issues. Paul Ryan speaking just a few minutes ago saying that he would prefer a more surgical, more targeted approach because, it, you know, to your point, this isn't the way to solve problems that are associated with China's relationship with the U.S. and so on. What power does Congress have if persuasion doesn't work, Ambassador? Well, the president has a lot of power here to do this on his own. Uh, Congress could take action and put in a rider to a must-pass bill that says uh, that the administration cannot spend any money imposing these tariffs. That's a pretty draconian action. It would take a, a, a lot of support to get that there. Um, I'm not sure they'll get there, but I think that's why they're focusing on trying to persuade the president to take another approach. Now, I think we have to stipulate that we, we all want a strong steel and aluminum industry in the United States, and there is a global problem of overcapacity. But most of the problem could be traced back to China, and this action does little, if anything, to affect the China issue. And in fact, puts the spotlight on the U.S., isolates the U.S. as now being viewed as the protectionist power in the, United, in the world, as opposed to putting the focus on China, where it really belongs. Right. China is something like the 11th largest country from which we get imports of steel. How do you fix that with a trade action? Can you fix it with a trade action? Well, on, on, on steel from China, the U.S. industry has already very effectively used our trade remedy laws, anti-dumping, countervailing duty laws, to keep out Chinese steel. And so that's why it's only the 11th largest source of, of imports here. Uh, I think the focus has got to be building an international coalition to put pressure on China to eliminate its overcapacity in its country. And that's the only way to really get at this issue. This trade action, I think, makes that more difficult, not, not easier.